Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. And no, you're not all um, mixed up. Today is Saturday. It's not St. Patty's Day, but I had to show you what I wore on St. Patty's Day to work. So, you know, I like to dress up for the holidays. You know, I don't like to go overboard and, you know, be a little too blingy. So, you know, I don't wear earrings. But anyway, I've got my little beaded bow tie on that I probably got from Amazon a few years ago. Hats from Amazon. This uh, little gnome St. Patty's Day top is from Walmart. I've got my Tarte um, blazer on that I got from Trendsend by Ever Eve. These shamrock leggings, uh, but they got this cute little uh, pretend buckle right here. That's from Amazon. And then these uh, high rise uh, pull on black booties are from Walmart. So I put them all together, thought it was a fun outfit without going overboard for St. Patty's Day. So anyway, I am going to grab my coffee and then I'll be back to start my vlog. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back. I'm so excited to have you join me again. Uh, it means so much to me to have you guys stop in and visit from time to time. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that little red button over there. I would love to have you come back and be part of our YouTube family and I would love to see you again. So I hope that you consider subscribing to my subscribers. Thank you so much. It means the world to me to have you here. You guys are amazing. But anyway, starting my vlog, and again, I got like six hours of sleep last night. I feel energized. I'm not, I'm not going to do a lot, but I still feel energized. So I got my coffee here. So I've got my uh, Smart Sips. This is the French Vanilla Cappuccino. I ordered a box of that, and it came in last week. So excited to have this. I didn't even put any creamer in here. It's so rich and creamy. So good. And along with this one, the uh, French Vanilla Cappuccino, I also ordered a box of the Red Velvet uh, Cupcake Cappuccino. And that was the day, it came in the day that I worked till 2 in the morning. But I wasn't really sleepy when I came home, so I was like so excited to try that one. And I ripped open the box, and I put it in there, and I went and washed my face, and I came back, and I took a sip, and I'm like, oh my god, this is... This is too chocolatey. And then I looked at it and they sent me the uh, hot chocolate by mistake. So they are sending me a box of the cappuccino. Uh, so I'm excited. I cannot wait to have that come in. And I am going to be more awake when I try it and uh, look at it before I ruin it. But yeah. So anyway, starting my vlog and Wednesday's outfit. I wore this for St. Patty's Day to work. And you know, I don't like to go overboard. I don't want to stand out in a crowd or anything like that. I just like to be kind of dressed for the holidays be kind of mellow so yeah i didn't wear earrings yeah don't, don't want to have too much bling and you know be a shove off you know but i, I was going to start the week with my new spring weight muck lock pajamas but i couldn't resist and i had to put this on again so it came out of the washing machine and into the dryer and put it back on for the start of the vlog and yeah just so um put in a lot of hours last week. I worked every night till at least 11.30. One night I worked till 12, and one night I worked till 2 in the morning. And then Friday, I was done at 9 o'clock. I, could I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't talk anymore. I lost my voice earlier in the day. Um, the guys made us margaritas about 3 o'clock. What a nice pick-me-up. Of course, they, you know, they probably had an ulterior motive that, you know, they wanted to have a drink and go home, but I didn't care. I had, my mar I had a pitcher of margaritas. I was happy. And they were so so good and uh yeah i think i don't know wednesday whatever reason wednesday and thursday we had we had drinks too and i was too busy to go sit with them in the back so they made me a captain's i didn't i had to settle without my cream soda so they made it with some diet coke so i did have a cocktail at my desk while they were out partying in the back because they were done for the day and i still had work to do but they concluded me in the drink so i was happy and even last night, I was so excited. I got to work on my uh, planner. I haven't done this since last fall. I have no idea why. I really enjoyed doing these. And, um, you know, it, to me, it was, it's a way to keep my memories alive and still do record, record or record or write down <laughs> what happened during the week or something so I can remember. And of course, when I was exercising before, whether I was working on the Pilates reformer or the treadmill or doing a DVD, I would kind of mark that in there too. So this I didn't, I just, you know, because I haven't gone back to doing that yet. Um, but 
Yeah, so I'm just really happy the way it came out. And I picked the last week to start with because that was Sabrina's our, our baby girl, her uh, her birthday week. I'm not going to tell her her age because she'd probably be mad at me, but she was born in 1978. So anyway, yeah, so that's how this came out. And it's uh, got some pictures of her growing up. And just, uh, yeah, it's fun. And recorded my steps for the week. So my under desk elliptical, like I said, I've been, uh, I actually turn the knob up. I usually like to do it with a little more tension so it doesn't go as fast or whatever. But I felt like I wanted to do more um, aerobics and have my weight up, um, heartbeat up or whatever. So I turned the knob so it's easier to pedal. And so I had 104,155 steps. I pedaled for 22.55 hours and 37.99 miles and my Fitbit steps because I don't register the elliptical so just regular walking around at, at work 30,486 so I was happy with where that came out but I'm really excited to have my planner open again and look forward to doing some more spreadsheets and I, I think that's part of going to be part of wellness Wednesday is part of my goals for stressing and whatever I need just to kind of relax and have some me time so i'm looking forward to doing that and uh yeah so hoping there's a light at the end of the tunnel uh, like i said with this new software uh my boss and i get to demo it on monday i don't know if it's a monday morning meeting or monday afternoon i mean i'm gonna be there anyway so it doesn't make a difference but we'll show them uh what we've come up with so far and different things that we think are going to help them and different things that's going to help us whether we're forecasting sales and whatever because we have got to get um say that our machine builders they want to forecast every month because some of these machines take you know maybe nine months or so to to build uh to the way they want it with their the tooling or if it's a palatech system so you have maybe three or four machines all hooked up and a robot or whatever to go back and forth so some of them do take um you know a lot of time and they want forecasts so that they're kind of not blindsided when someone gives you an order so you know, it will help us do that without having to call them saying, oh, we, we need to get this done. What are you quoting? What do we need done? It's all going to be right there. So either one of my bosses can grab it or if they're off, I can grab it and get it to our builders so that they can have that information. And I just feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm really hoping to have some shorter days next week and be able to get back to a normal schedule and be able to comment and watch videos. And, and that, that brings me joy just watching my YouTube friends and our YouTube family and just watching each other grow and helping each other and support each other. That to me, it's, it's just an amazing part of YouTube and I'm so happy to be blessed and part of that. And anyway, just, uh, I think I'm going to cut it short right here. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to put on. I mean, I don't want someone to come to the door and be in my St. Patty's Day gear on Saturday. I don't know. I'll think of something. Even if I put my pajamas back on. Yeah. And then I'm going to get back to work on YouTube. Cheers, everybody. It's been an amazing week. You guys are amazing. I hope you go out and have a fantastic weekend, a great week. And we'll chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Nancy, and welcome to another Saturday. Yeah, two Saturdays in a row. Yeah, I had every intention last night, um... Friday to close out my blog from last week and I sat down and I thought well I'll do a few videos watch a few videos first and I was watching um, Sheila from face and fashion and I was doing watching one of her mess Monday ones and she had mentioned a Netflix series that she had just got into it was um two sentence horror stories and the episode that she was talking about was called tutorial so as soon as I finished I had to go and check that out and Oh my god i i hope that you check it out and it's kind of like on the idea of horror but you know it's 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 a video it's it's not real so it might be a little creepy in spots but it was so good i loved it so thank you so much sheila for mentioning that and then i was going to get right back to video watching some videos and doing my vlog and then a thing popped up on netflix or something as i was backing out of it and it was uh, called country comfort and it had it was a series just one uh, series so i think it was 10 episodes with um katherine mcphee and eddie shaban i'm not sure how to say his name but he's the one that's married to leanne rhymes and um so it was like their series and um 
and that, that was so good. I watched all 10 episodes, bang, 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 bang. It was so, so good. And I think I just, I'm drawn to things like that where they're not all family members, but they all get this special bond and how they care about each other and become a family. So, I mean, that was kind of like the gist of it. A little bit of comedy, a little bit of sadness, but yeah, so I, I enjoyed that. And the next thing I knew it was three in the morning and I thought, I have to go to bed. So, so today I'm starting another vlog, but I'm just going to do two Saturdays in a row, just to call it good. And I had a productive week last week. Not anything at home or anything like that, but I was out of work almost every day last week by 7.30. And that, I don't think, has ever, ever happened for every day like that. So that was a really good feeling. Like I said, there was a light at the end of the tunnel, and yeah, we're coming to it. So, so it was a good week for work. Um, good week for YouTube, too. I, even though I didn't uh, do any videos or anything, um, I did get to work like three and four hours every night on YouTube. So that, oh my gosh, that really... That takes a load off my mind too just uh trying to get caught up and watching people that i haven't watched in a while and it was just so much fun and um i think i pre-recorded my wellness wednesday so i did uh post that during the week and i think i did something for monday but i forgot already what it was and um yes yeah, so i think i want to try to pre-record some videos and then just schedule them out during the week because what do I have that I still haven't opened I've got um I've got a glossy box I've got to look fantastic I got my boxy charm luxe I've got my ipsy glam bag plus I've got the book of the month club I've got some wine can you believe this wine that I didn't open yet yeah how weird is that and I've got coffee that I didn't open, and um, I just got today in Scentsy. I got some spring scents in, so I'm excited to open that. And I think I filmed my Scentsy whip box for March, but I forgot to post it, so I'm going to have to go look for that. And maybe I scheduled it and forgot I scheduled it, or maybe I forgot to schedule it, but I know I filmed it, so I'm going to have to check that out. And yeah, so anyway today just kind of wanted to show you pop in for a little bit i am doing this kind of mask mask a snail mask for jean louise for her birthday her birthday is on march 27th i was going to say she's 37 but she's probably younger than that but um she sent us a mask a few of us some of the snail mask because i figured she probably figured if she was going to do it she was going to take as many people down as uh, she could with her so it's a snail mask and it's this uh snail honey jelly mask and it's uh, yeah, gooey, gooey, gooey. I set it down on here for a second, and it is gooey, gooey, gooey. And I got snail eye mask on underneath, and I've got a neck mask. This is my first neck mask, so I'm excited to see how that looks. It would be nice if it went all the way down here. I think they do have some bigger ones, but I thought I would just start out small and see how this goes. Oh, but anyway, I hope everybody goes out, has a fantastic week, and we will chat again soon, everybody. Thanks for stopping in. Love you guys. It looks creepy when you smile with this mask on. It just, yeah, it's like a horror story when you smile, but yeah, maybe I shouldn't smile. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Oh, my gosh. It has been a long couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I am, I am ready for bed. I worked another, uh, I don't even know what time it is right now. I worked till about 1030 again tonight. I came home and had some leftover pizza. I grabbed a cup of tea, some sleepy time tea, just to kind of unwind and fell asleep on the couch before I finished my he eating my leftover pizza. And so now I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to go to bed. I am so tired. And and I did. I actually wore my Miss Ellie exercise wear today to work. I didn't wear the sports bra under it, of course. I just wore my uh, kindness is free t-shirt underneath but oh my gosh it is so comfortable and it's the one that's got the midnight garden so just very very comfortable for a long day at work yeah i was comfortable i was fine no one said a word because you know friday people come in jeans and things like that the people that are there and being a lot easter weekend those people didn't even come in because we only have a small crew anyway so so it was fine um yeah so just couple more long long nights again last week I, yeah I'm losing my train of thought and I don't think I, I only did two um, videos that I posted last week so I have got a ton of stuff to work on I'm excited to open some of it 
I've got a glossy bog egg behind me, so I'm excited to see what's in that. But I do have my glossy box from last month, too, that I didn't open yet. I wasn't going to get the uh, egg from the limited edition egg from Look Fantastic. It was, I forgot how much money it was, but it was just like a little bit more expensive. And I thought, well, you know, I've got enough stuff. I don't even know what to do with half the stuff I do get. And then last night, well, today at work, I just got an email. I was getting rid of delete, 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 getting rid of some of my junk mail. And there was one from Look Fantastic, and they were giving me another discount to get the egg. So I thought, hmm. So I went on and I clicked on, did a few things and put that code in. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, I think I need, for that price, I'm getting it. So yeah, so I got that on order. It won't be here for Easter, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna get to open it anyway. And yeah, so I just want to kind of close out my blog for the week. I think I've got two Saturdays in a row because I didn't post a, a blog from last week. So I open with a Saturday, then I go to the next Saturday. So today's Friday night. So I'll close the vlog with three days, but just uh, another hectic week. Um, I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I, I don't even know anymore. Our Pushback Live went from Thursday, so now we go live with a new software on Monday. So we will see how that goes, but um, training sessions have gone kid that we've done to show the guys how to do different things. And yes, yeah, so I, I think they're anxious to give it a try too, especially since they know that it's kind of mandatory now. They paid all this money for the software and you didn't use the one that they had before and this time you gotta use it. It's, it's gonna be mandatory. So yeah, I think they're pretty excited about having to learn how to do it right. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, so I got more things from Miss Ellian and oh my goodness, I just looked at the outfits for, I forgot what month we were in for April. Yeah, so just, um, the ones for April and they have some really really cute ones and I don't know which one to get so I don't know if I should just go eeny meeny miny mo help Nancy pick one or something but yeah it, it's gonna be a tough decision because they probably have some cute outfits but anyway I'm going to close my vlog I hope you all have a happy Easter weekend and we will chat again during the week I hope so take care everybody bye bye